So again, dumbbells, a bit of legs and a bit of upper body. We have two dumbbells on our shoulders, nice and wide legs for the squat. We go down and punch, down and punch. So this, my foot is going a little bit like this when I turn to punch. Three, two, one, and go. Good. Nice. Little bit more, 15 more seconds. Good. Two more. And last one. And stop. Okay. Now we go on the mat with one knee down. And one dumbbell on the side. We hold it with both hands and we turn in wood chopper move. So we focus here quite a lot. Three, two, and let's go. We keep following the dumbbell with our eyes. Good. Nice. Rotate as much as you can. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Well done. We stay on the mat and I'll show you both versions. I'm just getting um, uh, lighter weight. So we're going in half plank. If you need to drop the knees and do a half push up and then we're going to grab the weight, put it on the side and again one push up and slide the weight left and right. Okay, so keep the plank, the core engaged for the plank and move left and right the weight. Let's go. Three, two, one. So push and then slide. Good. Nice, 15 seconds. Five seconds. And stop. Very good. So we go again to repeat this one. Squat left and right punches. Wood chopper on the other side. And then this one stays the same. Okay, so both dumbbells starting here on your shoulders. Three, two, one. Down and rotate. Nice. Push. Up and down and left and right. Good. A little bit more. Almost there. Three, two, and one. And stop. Okay. Now when on the mat, change the knee that goes down on 
the floor, change side, and same thing, arms as straight as possible, from the side up, let's go. Exactly, there, back, and up. Good. Really push with the core. Nice. Almost there. Two more. And last one. And stop. Well done. We stay down here. Push up and slide left and right with the weight. <laughs> and three, two, one. There. So knees down if you need to with the push up. And then in plank, you slide left and right the dumbbell. Good. <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. Ten more seconds. Always struggling. Last four, three, two, and one. Okay, have a little um, break. Loosen up your shoulder a little. Your shoulders have some water. And then we're going to go on again with working let, uh, arms and legs together and then a bit more of abs. Okay, so this one, two dumbbells again on the side. We are, uh, we're going to have the position of the split deadlift. So one leg is back here, bent. The other leg is the supporting leg. We're going down, 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 up, and biceps. That's it. So push here and then push with your arms. Let's go. There, keep your back straight. Nice and strong. You should feel that supporting leg working. Come up. And once you're straight, you do the biceps curls. And then we go down again. Down, down. Down and here. Okay, keep going. And there. A little bit more. And up. Again. One. Work nicely, going down and up and stop. Okay, for the next two, we're on the mat and you shall grab one dumbbell. Yeah, we're gonna work with our legs up here, bent feet in the air and one dumbbell here. So what I would like you to do, you need to try what you can do. We've got one dumbbell here and in the back of our head. We do a semicircle around the knees, grab it and come back. If you can't reach, don't worry, just reach where you can and instead of changing here above, um, below the knees, you're going to change side here where, where your head is, yeah? So see how it goes. Try and crunch up as much as you can and try and touch here if you can. Let's try. Three, two, one. 
Oh, up here, exactly. Go. If you can't, okay, don't worry. Instead of changing where the knees are, you're going to change where the head is. And move to the other hand. Exactly. There. Still try and come towards the knees. Exactly. And then come back. And change the hand that is holding the weight. That's it. Up and down. Chin towards your chest. Nice. A little bit more. Nice. Almost there. Two more. Up. Knees. Up. And stop. Okay. So we do this one like that. And now we're going to grab both dumbbells I'm uh, sorry one dumbbell I think it's enough even if you have only yeah. I'll show you so we're going in this position here is the dumbbell at chest level we're going down up as much as you can push back to chest and down yeah so again you have to hold the position for a little bit and try and work with your arms as well as your abs. <laughs> okay, so start with the chest here with your weight at chest level. Come up as much as you can. Once you've got that position, push forward, push back and down. Okay, and again forward, back, and down. Nice. Very good. Slowly, it doesn't have to be quick. Focus on your abs. <laughs> Very good. And again. Curve your spine up and curve your spine down. Okay. Last one. So we're done. <laughs> and stop. That's it. Is it You mean the crunch up, the sit up? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you just need to become stronger. Because what happens ha is when your abdominals maybe are not quite strong enough, you going you are coming up tensing here. So you're tensing your spine instead of using these muscles to yeah. Okay. So maybe uh, when we repeat this, I show you how to repeat it. But one important, one important thing is to really curve the spine. So not to come up like this, because we try, we normally tend to do that. But to come up with the chin towards the chest and curving, and at the same time going forward. But I'll show you another way of doing that. Uh, if it's if it's bothering the lower back, so the first one doesn't change, but we're gonna have to change the foot. There is the supporting foot. So again, we go here, little move to get the right distance, and then up and down with the biceps curls. Let's go down, down, down. Keep your back straight. Up and biceps, and again down. And up. Okay. Push the belly button in the whole time. Very good. And up. 
Nice, little bit more. There. And last one. And here. Okay, so we go again. Maybe it's because we got two moves that are similar that you're doing in a row that you feel a bit more. But we will not change the first one, we'll change the second one to see if you don't feel that back pain here. So the first one will keep it here. This position actually is quite good because with your head and with your legs up here, you need to push your back. And the way to push your back on the mat so that there's no arching is pushing the belly button down. Yeah. So let's try that to focus on that. And then don't worry about where you reach. We go up and down, changing the hold of your dumbbell. Okay. Rotate your arm in a semicircle and come up at the same time. Okay. Last two. And last one. And stop. So, let's keep the crunch, but we're going to do only one move, not both. We have the dumbbell here at chest level and we're going to do a minimum move. So we're going just up and down. So mini crunches and pushing your chin towards the chest and coming up with the shoulders as much as you can. But really feeling that your spine is curving in order to come up. And let's try. That's it. So you really should feel it around your belly button, pushing your belly button down all the time. That's definitely more comfortable. Okay, yeah, then that's the problem, I think. It's just that all the way up is still, your spine gets a bit too tense. Keep going. We've got a little bit more to finish this one. Okay, five more seconds, three, two, and one. In this last part, we are focusing a lot more on abs, so you might feel it as well a little bit more. So we go. Now working with one dumbbell, we change a little bit uh, with this circuit. So again, one dumbbell, but now we're working asymmetrically in one of the circuits. Before we were doing everything on one side, now we are diagonal. We start with the dumbbell up here. We're going to lift the opposite leg, come with the elbow to the knee, there. So I want you to use the dumbbell literally as an extra way. It's not that uh, you're going to feel it too much, but it's the core here that we're working more. So up straight, with the opposite leg, we come up with the knee. Knee to elbow and up again. So quite nice and strong. And again, focusing on the core. That's it. We rotate the elbow and go to the knee. Nice. Push. There. Little bit more. Ten more seconds. Good. Three. Two. And one. Well done. Now, 
we're gonna go again in plank and I'm gonna have to work I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna ask you to work again on the plank that we did before so if you're not doing the full plank you're gonna be with one leg here now you really need to focus on this side you're gonna tap out tap in tap out tap in that's it so you focus on that leg that is straight and push a little bit out and call it back in. Let's try. So a little bit more advanced would be the full plank tap out. Three, two, one, and go. Good. Very good. Nice and controlled. Don't worry about how fast you're doing it. 10 more seconds. Good. Game position. Keeping plank. Four, three, two, and one. Well done. And now again, focusing on the abs, we're going to work a little bit the arms as well. And again, working a little bit in, a, in an asymmetric way. We're going with the dumbbell up here, legs down, one leg up, one leg down. Dumbbell not straight in front of us, but a little bit forward and up, and then change. So the move is similar to the mini crunch that we did before with the chest down or with the chin down on your chest but the legs are doing the toe touch up and down so there's a crunch up every time you move the leg okay let's try three two one dumbbell is forward it's like it's going towards the foot that is coming up okay you pause and then come up Good. Nice. Push that chin towards your chest and focus on keeping the belly button down on the floor. Very good. Five more seconds. Three. Two and one. Very good. So we're going to work in the same way, repeating these three exercises. First one standing up and the next two down on the mat. Okay, so now we're going to change side. If you were working with the right hand, now you're going to have to work with the left hand. And coming up with the opposite knee. Let's go. Three, two, one. And push. That's it. Very good. Nice rotation to the knee. Very nice. Keep going. Almost there. Good. Three, two, and one. Great. So now on the planking, remember again to change the leg that does the tap out. In full plank, you just tap left and right otherwise slightly different with the knee down there moving left and right okay let's go keep it keep it Four.
focus on that little move only it doesn't have to be a big step out go three two and one well done we're wor working a lot on the core so it's normal that you feel it yeah. and we're gonna go again here dumbbell in front of you looking forward a little bit and up and down in toe touches crunching pushing the belly button in and let's go that's it there should be a moment in which your both legs are up you see yes and then change toes down and you come up with a crunch okay good good five four three two and stop well done here we go so we've done all the circuits with a full lesson legs 